Take that printer ink. Hit it. Oh, hit it again, man. Nice. <laughs> a wax slug is simply birdshot that's been mixed with hot wax and the wax simply holds the birdshot together and forms a unified projectile. Actually, we're very selective about what the things we brought out to shoot at. It may seem like they're just random things, but we selected things of different densities, different structures, different thicknesses, different weights, and we were very surprised of the results of how much energy transfer there was. A rifle bullet efficiently passes through this printer, but what we're looking at is that sand in the background and what's going on with that sand. What that is called is granular impact. A granular impact is what happens when a golf ball hits a sand trap. It comes to rest very quickly. The same thing happens to a bullet fired into a, a sandbag. It'll actually stop a bullet within about six inches. Now as the object hits the particles, all that energy is transferred from one BB to all the surrounding BBs and those transfer the energy to all the other surrounding BBs. It's just uh, like a chain reaction. And essentially every BB in this container absorbed the energy. For the first time, researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have devised a mathematical formula to measure the impact of objects dropped into granular matter, clarifying its physical behavior not as a solid, liquid, or gas, but with its own distinct and verifiable physical properties. But how does this all relate to the wax slug? The wax slug actually demonstrates granular impact in reverse. Just like the BBs in the jar, each individual lead pellet in here is interconnected with all the others. One BB contacts several others, and those contact several others and the, the wax is simply there to hold it in this very organized configuration. Now when you accelerate this granular projectile to 900 miles an hour, you can see the energy transfer occurring here. The wax is only strong enough to hold the column of, of lead pellets together in flight. And after a couple layers of plastic, the pellets immediately start breaking down and dispersing their energy before they were combining all their energy into one solid column of, of pellets. And as you can see, if the object can not absorb all that energy, then you'll see a cone shape of pellets blowing out the back. This rapid energy transfer is really what sets this round apart from a solid bullet or a solid lead slug. Now this shot on a computer hard drive really demonstrates the high efficiency of energy transfer as this 17 or so millimeter projectile expands to over 40 millimeters before it even punches through, creating a very, very large hole. And if you notice in the background, you don't really see the uh, any pellets that are hitting the ground, which tells me that most of the energy was absorbed by this, this computer hard drive. Just like sand is very efficient at absorbing the energy of a bullet, a solid object, the opposite is also true. When the granular object, like a wax slug, hits a solid object, the energy transfer into that solid object is very efficient too. The pellets work together as a group, pushing themselves through an object, kind of like shoppers on Black Friday pushing themselves into a Walmart. Research continues. <laughs>